I want, I want, Mr. President, today we talk of human rights situation that requires the Council attention. Since October 2015, the Council has been monitoring Sri Lanka with respect to the implementation of Resolution 30-1, which recommended constitutional reform. The Resolution 30-1 was passed without the Council debating or discussing the OISL report on which the resolution was based. At that point, agreed Sri Lankans didn't have an opportunity to raise their concern before the Council. It appears that through reconciliation between the Sinhalese and Tamil is happening quite independently of the intervention of the UNHRC and other foreign parties. The situation emerged when transferring Colonel Ratnapriya is a shining example how rehabilitated LTD and Tamil community trusted the good will of Sri Lankan armed forces. They not only open their heart to welcome their support, but also display trust and trust can be built with love and compassion. I question how is this possible if, according to the Council Hybrid Court for War Crime, truth-seeking mechanism and political settlement are needed in order for reconciliation to happen. I urge the Council to consider this matter and even at this late stage correct what appears to be an ill-advised and short cited policy on Sri Lanka. Help to unite and not to divide. Thank you. Thank you. May we invite the International Lawyers Org, please. Thank you. I say that I Mr. President, since the